welcome to the Storybox Project, our sports theme. My name's Liz and the activity that I'm going to take you through is really simple sports themed stretch. It's really simple activity to warm up our body and it's really inspired by Sports Day, which is something that most of us, either through Sports Day, as we have in the UK, or Field Day, as people have in the USA, is something that we remember from school days. So today's activity is totally inspired by Sports Day. And it's inspired by one particular activity, uh, which we used to do at School Sports Day, which was using this and this. So uh, egg and spoon race, I'm sure you can all recognize that. So the egg and spoon race was the sport where you would balance your egg on the spoon and run a race holding your egg on the spoon. Now for this activity, ideally you need a hard boiled egg and a spoon, but if you haven't got that, you could also um, roll a sock really tight onto a spoon or a ball, maybe a, a softer ball is good. If it's too small or too hard, it makes it really difficult. Or if you're struggling and, and you're not so good at balancing and you would prefer not to use an egg and spoon, you could even roll up some socks and put them on the palm of your hand or on the back of your hand. So do this with the material that feel most comfortable to you. So as I said, in an egg and spoon race, you had to carry the egg on the spoon and race to the finish line, carrying it, trying desperately not to drop it. So what we're going to do in this activity, we're not gonna have an egg and spoon race, you will be pleased to hear. We're going to think about the different ways that we could use our egg and spoon to stretch our bodies, to warm our bodies. And I think we'll maybe need five different stretches. So, um, we're going to try them. Now, when I do them, just do them in the way that's comfortable for you. If you can't stretch as far as I'm stretching on something, it doesn't matter. Just do them however works for you. So the first one that I'm going to suggest is putting your egg on your spoon and stretching it out in front of you as far as you can. And if you're feeling brave, you can swap hands do it with the other hand as well, which is quite hard for a uh, right-handed person like me. Then I want you to try and hold the, the egg up as high as you can and down and up and down. Try that with the other hand. Oh, I'm going to hold my hand so I don't drop it. Up and down. And then the one I thought we could do is we could try zigzagging. So zigzag down. Ooh. So you like making a Z shape and around and back up. And that zigzag. And again, bringing it down and trying with the other hand. I really have to put my hand under for this. So zigzag. Ooh. Don't want to drop this egg. Oops high as I can and back down. It's like a flying egg across the screen. And then I'm going to try doing a big X with our egg on the spoon. So down to one side, up and across. Try with the other hand. Try up, up, down the other side of the cross and across and our last movement we're going to take our egg just going to circle it which is really simple with the hand that you write with oops <laughs> but not so easy with the other side so that's it so we've got our five different movements stretching out the egg in front high and low our zig zag, a cross and our circle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try our movements again but we're going to put some music to the back of it. We're going to try them a couple of times. First time we're just going to try them the normal size. Then we're going to try them, do them as big as we can and then as small as we can. Let's just give it a go. 
Don't worry if you drop your egg, just pick it up and put it back on the spoon. And as I said, the really important thing is for you to do the movements in the way that you feel comfortable. So here's our music, off we go. Stretch. Stretch with both hands. Stretch. And then up high. Oh, it's hard. And down. The other side. Up high. Zigzag. And now your other hand. Zigzag. marks the spot. Try X marks the spot with the other hand. Ooh. Oh, it's getting easier the more I do it. A big circle. Try that with both hands. I'm going to do it again. Nice and big stretch out to the front. to the front, high, Ooh. and low, and high, and low, and big zigzags, I'm actually going to hold it on my finger now, and zigzag back down, the direction, zigzag, down, I'm going to do our X marks the spot, big as we can, and across, and up, try not to drop the egg, and across, I'm going to try with the other hand, across, but not least a big circle one more time through them all stretch out I'm going to do them with both hands together stretch out high and low high and low zigzag this one cross Well done, thank you for taking part in our egg and spoon race. I hope uh, you managed to do it without without dropping the egg and that you're feeling a little bit more warm now and that your body's feeling a little bit more stretched and relaxed. Thanks for joining in. If you want to have a go at more um, story box activities, there's a couple more sports themed activities in this playlist on our channel. And if you follow the link below, you'll be able to access other Storybox resources that you can try at home. And finally, if you press the subscribe button, which is the red button, that means that every time we update the channel with new activities, you will get sent an email just to let you know that there's something new for you to try. Thank you for joining in. Bye bye.